Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Tiffany. What is freaking up, you guys? So, in today's video, we are going to be decluttering, organizing, and decorating my bedroom today. This is the second part to the series of me doing an epic bedroom makeover. So, if you guys haven't seen part one yet, go make sure you guys do that. Today is self isolation day 11. We are inside the house for days and days and days, and I am going crazy literally, so crazy. And I just need to keep my mind off of everything that is going on by decorating my room over and over and over again. So I'm super excited for today's video. It's been probably a month and a half since I decorated my bedroom. I haven't done anything really since then. And I've just completely turned this bedroom into a giant mess. It's so disorganized. It's not cute at all. It's very, very messy. So we're gonna declutter, we're gonna organize, and we're gonna decorate. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Woo. All right, are you guys ready to see this? Holy freaking cow. This crazy mess of a desk is where I sit every single morning and do my makeup and literally try to get stuff done. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. So let me just do a quick little tour for you guys. So here's the bed. As you guys can tell, this bench is not even centered. I don't even know why. This is kind of the state the room is in. My birthday was a couple days ago and Matt surprised me by putting a bunch of balloons here. So this is why we have little decor right here. And it's really freaking cute that I kind of want to keep it there but this bed is not centered at all I feel like I should move it a couple inches this way and then over here we just have a bunch of things on the floor I originally have the suitcase from New Zealand I've been back home from New Zealand for over a month now and I have a really bad habit of not unpacking my luggage so uh, we definitely need to get rid of this also you guys probably saw that I didn't have a bedside table before I now have a bedside table these are from Target I have two of these and a lot of you guys told me I should probably change my rug around so that it is perpendicular to my bed as you guys can tell this rug is just massive so I don't know how it would fit this way and then here is my desk that I had showed you guys earlier I do actually want this to be a desk where I can actually work in hello what's up and right now it's not so here are all my receipts and taxes and then underneath here we have a bunch of random stuff so I just have a bunch of random tissue paper in this box and then I just have stuff that I actually want to give to my maid so I'm gifting her a bunch of makeup she had wanted some makeup for herself and her family so I just put a bunch of makeup together that I thought she would enjoy and then I know she also has three daughters that are pretty much my size so I just put together a bunch of clothes that I thought they would enjoy and then I just have freaking food here here. Like I have so much food. I snack a lot and then I just have a bunch of stuff in these drawers This is actually my drawer. I had for Liv and Jess So a lot of this stuff is actually for Liv and Jess. Here is Zoe's little section She sleeps in her crate every single night She freaking loves her crate and we just have a bunch of stuff underneath the bed. So that is what we're doing today Oh my gosh, look how clean it is. Holy crap, you guys, it looks so freaking nice. And I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me where these are from because every time I post these chairs, you guys always ask. These are actually from Home Goods, and I don't know if you can still get them because I got them about two years ago, but they are really freaking cute and they perfectly match my desk. My desk is from Target. guys a little update here I have finished cleaning this little alleyway I don't know why you just call it an alleyway so what I normally do is I have a bunch of buckets or bags so this is my bathroom bucket this is my hoarding room bucket this is stuff that is gonna go in my living room slash kitchen this is a trash pile and then here is a bunch of stuff that I actually do need to organize but what I do is after I finish cleaning the room I'll put these bags into the corresponding rooms that they belong in and then another day I'll just take them all out and organize them. So this is actually a bucket I made for this room when I was in the hoarding room So this is all the stuff that I wanted to keep in the bedroom So we need to organize this little guy and then put it all away If you guys haven't seen these 
on TikTok yet, you guys need to get it. If you guys have pets, if you guys wear a lot of black, this is the best pet hair thing I have ever used. I am never going to buy another lint roller ever again. And it just sucks it in. Zoe is kind of obsessed with eating it. And then you pop it open and look how much hair is stuck in here. That is so disgusting. That is all the hair that was on my bed and I didn't think there was that much of it. Also, another update, I added another slip pillowcase to my pillow. This is pure silk pillowcases. This is really good for your hair and your skin because it doesn't hug and cause friction so your hair won't break and it won't cause any wrinkles in your skin because it won't pull on it. Yay, I am done cleaning my room and now it's time to decorate everything. I don't want to show you guys the entire full cleaning until the very, very end of this video, but it looks so freaking good. And right now we are gonna work on putting these wall hangings up. These are massive wall hangings. I believe this guy is like 12 pounds and this guy is about six or seven pounds. I want to put the massive one right here and then the smaller one right here. Okay. Holy cow, he is so heavy. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, so originally I wanted to put this guy on top of my bed. I don't think I should. I should probably find another spot for this. I just don't know where yet. Is that cool? Would that be cool? I don't know. Okay, so I have another painting that I also wanted to put up in my room, except again, I just don't think this would be cute enough to put on top of my bed. I don't know. I'm not gonna leave it here. Just want to see what it looks like. But I don't know if I should have it there or I should have it here. So I have this empty space right here. I feel like that would be pretty cute. I don't know, you guys let me know. What I wish I had was like a little coat hanger so that whenever I walk into my bedroom, I can just have my stuff right here so that I can take my backpacks, my keys, whatever. Okay, so I actually don't like any of the spots that I just put it in because one, I think it's going to be too high. The only issue with this bed frame is that these jet up really, really high and you're supposed to have artwork at eye level. Even if I put it on top of here as close as I could, it would still be too tall for most people to look at it. What I would really like to do is have smaller pictures that are kind of a lot wider than it is tall so a really wide photo the size of this over and just have two of those next to each other but I think what I want to do is actually maybe hang this guy on this side because this wall is very very plain and then maybe adding this to a different wall I love the fact that I have my YouTube plaques right here but it is taking up quite a bit of space or I could put it here mm, that's still really tall I mean, that would be really cute, actually. I just sat in bed for the last 20 minutes because I'm not looking forward to the next step of this epic makeover with put up curtains and you guys know I freaking hate curtains. I'm so good at it though. Your girl is a very handy girl but she also freaking hates putting up curtains. Honestly maybe if I got paid I would feel better about it but I'm not getting paid to do it. Originally I was going to put up seven foot curtains but from Mr. Kate that I've learned the higher you put up the curtains it looks like your room is a lot bigger than it really is so I have all of these curtains underneath my bed um as you can tell lots of curtains down here we also have matte socks and hats and this is our little massager it's so freaking good this is from the body shop and you literally just dig it into someone's back like this and it feels so amazing but here are all the curtains i bought from target and i don't know if any of these are eight. oh wait these are eight feet <gasps> are these eight feet no these are only seven feet although these are very pretty as well so the options i have are the sheer curtains which I guess is the only thing we can use because these guys are too short. Although maybe I should wait to get better curtains because these are a little plain. So I think we're just gonna hang the curtains another day. with how the room is turning out right now. The last thing we can do right now is take off this little guy. So I'm gonna keep these guys on the sides right here. So I'm gonna take this guy out 
Oh, easy. Okay, that's it. Yay, we're done. All right, guys, I'm officially done decorating this room for stage two. There is going to be a part three to this because you guys know I'm not officially, officially done yet. And are we ever officially done when it comes to our bedrooms? I feel like we're never officially done. So are you guys ready to see my new bedroom? Let's see the room. My God. All right, so this is what the entire bedroom looks like. I am so happy with how it turned out. So let's just do a little quick tour. So right here, we have this Joshua Tree painting. This is from Target. This is also from Target as well. I got this little stool from Amazon, and then I got this plant from Home Depot. And then if we turn around to the right, we have this beautiful hanging artwork that I got from Anthropology. And then over here, we have the bed i made the bed as you guys know i am using parachute bedding their bedding is so nice it is definitely pricey but so worth it and from here we just have my side which is the right side and then matt's side is the left side and these are the two silk pillowcases in different colors because i don't know what happened and then these pillows are from target over here we just have these little decorations i'm not sure where matt got them but maybe amazon and then matt and i use a fan every single single night for white noise. Over here we have a mirror so I can do outfit of the day photos. This outfit is Urban Outfitters for my top Paxson jeans. And then we have this basket from Target. This blanket's also from Target. This mirror also from Target. We got a lot of Target stuff coming on in here. And then on this side is Little Zoe's Sanctuary. Um, Originally I didn't know what to do with this white rug. I'm not totally in love with the placement it's in right now because again as you can see it's off-centered but I think it'll be really cute for Zoe to take her first steps out of the morning on carpet just like every time Matt and I wake up we step on carpet and she always does the best little big stretches in the morning then I have these two blankets that I put on top she likes blacked out curtains so we make sure it's nice and dark for her and I also got this bed for her from Target it is her favorite bed ever she will literally stay in this bed for 12 hours because every other bed I've ever gotten her she would wake up at like 6 in the morning 5 in the morning sometimes with this bed she will literally sleep in till 11 a.m. I have this dresser. This is from West Elm. And then I just have these knickknacks on the table right here. So I have my million subscribers plaque, then my 100,000 subscribers plaque, and my other 100,000 subscriber plaque. Also, I got these little guys from New Zealand. So I got it from a store that hand makes ceramics there. I think they're so cool. And I love that they're handmade by Claybird Ceramics. And then this guy right here is Zoe's. I put all her snacks in here. Then I just have a little plate. These are all the magazines and newspapers that I played a part in. If we come over here, this is my little desk slash office and my little makeup counter. I have all of my makeup right here. Here are my brushes. We have this wall hanging piece from Anthropology, And then this Mac that I never freaking use. So I'm just using it as decor. And then I have my Dymo label maker. But yeah, that is my room. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That is the last bit of my room tour. I will do an update one when I do another part three as you guys know I have a lot more things I could do to this room I still need to put up the curtains I need to put up all the plants and I want to put up shiplap behind here so there will be a part three in the next few weeks stay updated make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new also if you made it to the end of this video comment down below what kind of bottoms are you wearing right now I'm currently wearing jeans but yeah I love you guys so much hopefully you guys are enjoying this self-isolation series Bye!